It's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. Today we've got a beer from Dog's Window Brewery and this is the Demon Vacuum Pale Ale. This is a pale ale in a 440 milliliter can coming in at 4.5% ABV. And all of their beers, now this is the great thing. Um, Lee Ralph is the owner of Dog's Window Brewery and he personally dropped these beers off to me yesterday. But, he really, really loves his dog. He really, and I can't find, like he set up his brewery, called it Dog's Window. Dog sits in the window. And every single one of his beers is like kind of dog themed. And I think it's really unique. I think it's really unique. And without, unless, unless he's a marketing magician, mind you, it's just, him, the owner of the brewery, telling his story about his dog. And I think that's a really, really good kind of way of promoting and selling your beer. It's a unique marketing strategy that, that it's just a bloke telling his story about his dog. I mean, so yesterday's story was um, whenever they switch on the vacuum, the, the dog's either running away from it or it's backing it or it's attacking the vacuum cleaner. We've all got animals that, that, that do, these, do these type of things. But um, it, it's, it's a great story, it really is. 4.5% ABV, 440 milliliter can. Without further ado, let's get this beer out into a glass and see what we get. Do you know, I'm going to be perfectly honest with you here. I just, <laughs> I just recently uh, reviewed a nitro stout. <laughs> and um, with a nitro stout, of course, you're like, you know, pour it in as fast as you can type of thing. And I just started pouring this the same way. And I'm thinking, uh, halfway through the daydream, I'm thinking, whoa, 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 slow down, slow down. Uh, two finger white head, lovely, beautiful looking, hazy, tropical looking pale ale. That looks absolutely fantastic, doesn't it? Really good, creamy and rich, without calling it like a like being over complicated with it. You know, you could, you could effectively call this a a New England pale ale. I think take away the complication. Take away the New England. No, who, who, and this is the thing. Who goes to their bottle shop or their supermarket and, you know, they're actively looking for, or, or pale ales these days, or, or IPAs, they generally come from either the West Coast of America or the East Coast of New England way of, of America. Probably half a percentage point of beer buyers know enough about IPA to know enough about New England and West Coast and all this other stuff that us, let's be honest, geeks uh, know, know about it. People just want simplicity in their lives. They just want bang. I understand pale ale. I understand it's going to be about 4 to 5% ABV. Let's just call it a pale ale, shall we? It looks good. Let's get the aroma. Smells good too. Wow. Beautiful, tropical, passion fruit, mango. Tangerine, orange peel. Fleshy blood orange. That smells terrific. Let's dive in. Cheers, everybody. Mm. 
citrusy orange peel. It's dry. It's dry. It's quite a dry beer. I don't mean like dry January type dry. <laughs> God forbid. Um, I mean like more, it's kind of drying on the palate. It's a bit, it's a bit like a, a Sauvignon blot, a white wine. It's a bit like a Sauvignon. I don't drink much wine, but whenever I drink wine, I get this like, like this drying sensation. It's the reason why I don't like wine. Um, this, this is nowhere near on that scale. Let me, let me just start with that. But there's a slight drying sensation as you, as you drink the beer. Carbonation pushes the beer on the inside of the mouth, releases more of the flavour. It's refreshing. It's tropical. There's not much in the way of bitterness on the back end. This is way more all about the kind of middle of the beer. The passion fruit, the mango, the fleshy blood orange, the orange, that sort of kind of, kind of like middle of the beer. It's not overly sweet. It's not overly bitter at all, actually. It's not really bitter at all. It's just everything's kind of like centering around the middle of the beer, those middle flavors. So what do I mean by that? So there's a slight pause. You taste the beer, there's a slight pause. Whereas if you were drinking something malty, you would be experiencing the sweetness very, very much kind of like bang on. As soon as the beer touches the lips, you're tasting sweetness in the beer. And then on the back end, you're trying this kind of, you're getting this bitterness through from a traditional bitter. But what what these breweries, New England brewers, if you like, brew, brewing New England pale ales, New England IPAs, it's all about the central flavour. It's not about the sweetness over here. It's not about the bitterness over here. It's all about those kind of rich, fruity, tangerine-like flavours in the middle. That's the best way to describe this. It really is. It's good. It's really good. Lovely aroma. It's a little bit sweet. It's a little bit bitter, but it's all about the middle of the beer. The, the big, bold flavours of the beer. Right. The brewery dog has gone through three stages of dealing with the vacuum cleaner. As he got older, number one was run away. Number two was attack it. And number three, <laughs> ignore it. Uh, because we won't compromise the flavour of our beers, they are naturally carbonated and not fine and filtered, which may result in a naturally hazy finish. Um, what's inside? Pale malt, naked oats, flaked oats, harlequin, strata and New England. It's really blooming good. It, it, it really is. Um, I like the can art. If you've met Lee, if you've met Lee around beer festivals in Wales or locally at bottle shops, you'll know he's the nicest guy. He's the nicest guy you'll ever want to meet. He has also a bottle shop in the centre of Bridgend, literally a minute's walk from, not even a minute's walk from the train station uh, in Bridgend town centre. So go and, go and say hello to Lee, maybe buy some of his beer, maybe buy some, some, some beer from other breweries that are on his shelves. Um... I like it. I like this enough to give it, I'd say, a 7 out of 10. 7 out of 10 from Real Ale Craft Beer. I hope you liked the video. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom. Cheers.